Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can overclock your GPU in your laptop or in whatever system you have. So I'm going to be using these two programs here. So MSI Afterburner and MSI Combustor. And this is where you download them from. You can download MSI Afterburner from here, which is from the MSI website, and then clicking on this link over here. Once you have downloaded the file for MSI Afterburner, it will appear as a zip file, in which case you have to extract it before you can install the program. You can then download Combustor from here. If you go then on download, go on the suspicious website where you click on MSI Combustor here, and then you click this particular download button. No, any, not any other that might pop up. So this one here. You click it, and then a download will start. This is MSI Afterburner, and this on the side is Combustor. And the reason I downloaded them beforehand is because Combustor comes as a side button here to test the overclock that you apply. Just a quick overview, um, when you download the program it will default to the normal graphic card or the integrated graphic card that you have, so I suggest switching the, to the desired graphic card. I don't know how many graphic cards you have, you might have SLI for example, in which case I'm pretty sure you know how to use the program already. Now then, quick overview is you have core clock, memory clock, power limits, temperature limits and fan speed. Now these are not available to me because of the motherboard in this laptop. Core voltage is also not available, although there is a curve editor here, I'm not sure if that does anything. You have functions such as auto overclocking, I think somewhere here maybe. And you have a way to monitor your system as well. And you have five slots where you can save your settings. This button here will be the last button you'll be clicking after you're done with overclocking, as this is the one that applies the overclock every time you start up Windows. So you want to make sure your overclock is stable, so you don't crash your system as soon as you get it. That would be bad. All right, we can start Combustor right here. We can run the stress test. Now, mine defaults to the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti that I have in my laptop. Yours, depending if you have a laptop that actually might default to the integrated graphic card. In which case, in order to fix that, you may want to go into the NVIDIA control panel, which is right here, and then set your preferred GPU with a high performance. This is not the same as a Mac switch, mind you. It just forces the program to use the NVIDIA processor for the actual calculating the frames and stuff. All right, so Combustor is running and we can now start to apply overclocks. Now, these are random values that I had from before, so let me just set them back to zero. So what we want to do is start by an overclock. Uh, I would recommend a plus 50 on any system. So what you want to do after you set the core clock, which is the first one you want to uh, set. Uh, so the core clock is plus 50 now. You can check the stability after you apply it, so you apply it using this button here. After you apply it, you check for stability and then you increase by 5 each time, making sure that the program doesn't crash. Once it crashes, you then can reduce by 5 here and you know it will be stable up to that point. After you're done with that, you can then move on to the memory clock and do the same exact thing. I, I recommend starting at 100. For the memory clock, you will start seeing artifacts, which are just random jittery lines on the screen. Those are bad. You don't want those, so reduce the core clock to the previous stable one. And once you have a stable configuration, uh, save the configuration by clicking this button and then clicking the relevant slot where you want to lock it. Do not press this button just yet, lock this, and then start a gaming session. This is a great excuse to start gaming. If anybody asks what I do, you just say, I'm testing my overclock. So once you play it for a couple of hours and you see that your overclock is indeed very much stable, you can return, unlock the slot, click this button and then lock it. So we now apply the settings at the start of Windows every time you boot up and now your system is overclocked and you can definitely feel the difference when you're gaming. Uh, by definitely feel the difference I mean a few frames but those are free frames and who doesn't want free frames right? Alright this is it thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.